Today our learning target is I can tell time using quarter hours. So I want you to think of a clock. Quarters means there are four equal parts in a clock. So if we take a clock and we cut it down the middle, this is half of the clock. 30 minutes and another 30 minutes equal a full hour. When we're telling time and the time is 1.30, I can say it is half past one. That means the minute hand had traveled half past. Oh, I have to go up to one o'clock here. That was a silly one to start with. All right, now it's one o'clock. And if I say it's half past one, I'm saying that this minute hand traveled half of the clock, half past one. If it is now half past two, what time would it be? 2.30. So all the time we can say half past. Some people might say instead of just halfway, they might say it is 10 minutes after one o'clock. So the minute hand just traveled 10 minutes after one o'clock and it'd be 1.10. I might say it's 20 minutes after one. The minute hand has traveled 20 minutes. So half is always going to be 30 because that is half of an hour. And we usually use half past or half after on this side of the clock. All right, half is easy. Now, let's cut our clock into four equal parts. If I think of the number 60, and I have to think of half of 30 is 15. Each one of these is 15 minutes. 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus another 15 gives us 45. 45 plus another 15 minutes gives us a whole hour. So taking an hour and cutting it into four equal parts gives us each 15. So if somebody says it is a quarter after one, that means that the minute hand traveled a quarter past one o'clock. It is 1.15. Quarter after one. If it is quarter after four, what time is it? 4.15. The minute hand has traveled a quarter of the hour. If it is a quarter after 10, it is 10.15. Sometimes I tell kids just to memorize half is 30, Quarter after is 15. All right, we've said half past is half of the clock, which is 30 minutes. We talked about quarter after. Quarter after is always going to be 15 if it's a quarter after. Now for the tricky one. People say, it's a quarter to five. A quarter to five means it's not five o'clock yet. The clock still has to travel a quarter of the way to get to five o'clock. That means it still has to travel this quarter to get to five o'clock. So I always tell kids it's not to five o'clock yet. We haven't gotten there yet. We still have to get to it. So a quarter to, we always have to go back. Quarter to five means it is four. Think of your number patterns. Still has to travel this quarter of the way to get to five o'clock. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 
quarter to five is four forty-five. What is a quarter to seven? Well, it's not to seven o'clock yet. A quarter to seven means it still has to travel the quarter to get to there. So it is six forty-five. Whenever we're doing quarter two, it's always going to be to the 45 because when we add that quarter, it's going to get us to the time. So remember, quarter after is always going to be the 15. Half, half past or half hour is always going to be 30. And quarter two is always going to be 45. Now somebody might say it's 10 minutes to five o'clock. 10 minutes to five. That means we're not to five o'clock yet, it's four. If this hand still has to travel 10 minutes to get to five o'clock, then it would be 4.50. Quarter after, half past quarter two. 10 to, you use the same language. We always use after or past on this side of the clock and two on this side of the clock. Maybe instead of quarter two, which would be our 15 minutes before, it would actually be 20 minutes till five. That means it's not to five o'clock yet. We would still have to travel five, 10, 15, 20 minutes to get to five o'clock. And 20 minutes till five o'clock gives us Four forty. How do we get better at this quarter to quarter after half past? You practice when your mom tells you the time to ask her, tell me another time. If your dad tells you a time, say, how else could you say that time? That's the way we get better is we practice. This is a learning target, is telling time using the smart way.